Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to get insert session in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. So let's begin our video. So the very first thing, I'll open Solution Explorer. Now I am opening the index model class. And here I'll be adding a namespace. Microsoft.ASP.NET Core dot http now let's move to the on get method here i'll show you how to set a session variable in asp.net core so i'm making use of http context dot session dot set string here there are two parameters the first one is the name of the session variable and the second one is the string value in one of my previous videos i have already explained how to enable session in asp.net core razor pages you can check out using the link available on the right hand side. That's it. We are done. The session has been set. Now let's move to the view. Now inside the view, I am inheriting the tag helper classes. The next thing I am doing is adding a form. The method attribute I am setting to post. Now here I have added a label session. Then I am adding a text box. Basically the idea is to fetch the value of the session and display it using an alert message box. So this particular text box will accept the name of the session variable. And when the button is pressed, the session value will be fetched from the controller and it will be displayed using javascript alert message box as you can see i have set the name attribute for the text box this particular attribute will be used inside the controller to fetch the value of this particular text box now i'm adding a submit button now i'm making use of asp page handler attribute and I am setting its value as submit and this particular attribute is used for specifying the handler method. Now let's move to the index model class where I'll be adding the handler method to handle the post call. Now here I am adding another handler method. The difference will be that this particular method will be accepting a parameter session name and this particular session name will be nothing but the value of the text box you need to make sure that the name attribute of the text box and the name of the variable is exact same otherwise the parameter value will be null now i'm creating a view data object and inside the view data object i am setting the value of the session in order to access the session i am making use of get string method to which i'll be passing the name of the session variable now for the last time again we'll move to the view now here we need to display the value of the view data for that i'll be writing some javascript so first i'm adding a condition to check whether view data has value then only this particular javascript will render and get executed next thing i'm adding script tag Now inside the script tag, I'll be making use of window.onload event handler. This particular event handler is executed when the page is loaded in browser. Now inside the event handler, I am making use of alert function and using razor syntax, I'll be assigning the value of the view data to the alert function. So that's it. We are done with the programming part. Now we can run the code and see it in action. Before moving ahead, I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. So here in the text box, I'm writing the name of the session variable that is person and now I'll click on the button. As you can see, the value of the session, which is my name is being displayed correctly. So with this, we come to the end of this video. Today we learned how to enable session 
in hp.net core razor pages thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon goodbye